Advent Prayers for Catholics to Pray Each Day Second Sunday of Advent, A Time to Repent In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a wonder at the wisdom and power of your Father and ours. Receive my prayer as part of my service of the Lord, who enlists me in God's own work for justice. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a hunger for peace. Peace in the world, peace in my home, peace in myself. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me a joy responsive to the Father's joy. I seek his will, so I can serve with gladness, singing and love. Come, long-expected Jesus, excite in me the joy and love and peace it is right to bring to the manger of my Lord, raising me to sober reverence for the God who acted there, hearty gratitude for the life begun there, and spirited resolution to serve the Father and Son. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whose advent I hail. Amen. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 3, 1-2 Reflect today upon the unerring truth that you need to repent. You do. The only person who doesn't need to daily repent is the one who lives perpetually in a state of perfect communion with the Most Holy Trinity. But these holy souls are rare. Don't be offended by this truth, but rejoice in it. Give thanks to God for the strong words of St. John the Baptist, spoken to the Pharisees and Sadducees, and allow yourself to hear those words yourself, as if they were spoken just for you. Receive them with humility and rejoicing, and allow them to prepare you more fully to receive our Divine Lord more deeply into your soul this Advent season. Let us pray, O Lord, stir up our hearts, that we may prepare for Thy only begotten Son, that through His coming we may be made worthy to serve Thee with pure souls. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. My powerful Lord, You sent St. John the Baptist before You, so as to prepare many hearts to receive You and Your transforming truth. Please humble me, dear Lord, so that I will listen to the words spoken by John and will indeed continually repent of all of my sin with all my heart. Jesus, I trust in you. Father, in the wilderness of the Jordan, you sent a messenger to prepare people's hearts for the coming of your Son. Help me to hear his words and repent of my sins, so that I may clearly see the way to walk the truth to speak, and the life to live for Him, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. All-powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good, that Christ may find an eager welcome at His coming, and call us to His side in the kingdom of heaven, where He lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father in heaven, our hearts desire the warmth of your love and our minds are searching for the light of your word. Increase your longing for Christ our Savior and give us the strength to grow in love that the dawn of his coming may find us rejoicing in his presence and welcoming the light of his truth. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. God of power and mercy, open our hearts in welcome. Remove the things that hinder us from receiving Christ with joy. 
so that we may share his wisdom and become one with him when he comes in glory. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father in heaven, the day draws near when the glory of your Son will make radiant the night of the waiting world. May the lure of greed not impede us from the joy which moves the hearts of those who seek him. May the darkness not blind us to the vision of wisdom which fills the minds of those who find him. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Lord God, may we, your people, who look forward to the birthday of Christ, experience the joy of salvation and celebrate that feast with love and thanksgiving. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, ever faithful to your promise and ever close to your church, the earth rejoices in hope of the Saviour's coming and looks forward with longing to his return at the end of time. Prepare our hearts and remove the sadness that hinders us from feeling the joy and hope which his presence will bestow, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lord, fill our hearts with your love, and, as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your Son as men, so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection, for he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Father, all-powerful God, your eternal word took flesh on our earth when the Virgin Mary placed her life at the service of your plan. Lift our minds in watchful hope to heart the voice which announces his glory and open our minds to receive the Spirit who prepares us for his coming. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Shepherd of Israel, hearken. O Guide of the flock of Joseph, rouse your power and come to save us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be safe. O Lord of hosts, how long will you burn with anger while your people pray? You have fed them with a bread of tears and given them tears to drink in ample measure. You have left us to be fought over by our neighbors and our enemies mock us. O Lord of hosts, restore us. If your face shine upon us, then we shall be safe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.